Hi friends, Cream here, and today we will be looking at my top 7 favorite anime figures in my collection. Um, I ended up picking 7 because initially it was meant to be a top 5, but I couldn't narrow it down to a 5, so we're doing 7. I also wanted to upload this video because I plan to do a top 5 figures of 2023, so look forward to that. And maybe I'll make another updated video in a year's time to see if any of the figures I got in 2023 make it onto this list. One final clarification before I show off these figures, these aren't ranked from 7 to 1, these are just the top 7. If I was to rank them from 7 to 1, I would have a really hard time, so I'm not going to do that. Without further ado, let's get into it. First up in my top 7 is Stella by Max Factory. She is part of the DF line by Saitom. Saitom is one of my favorite illustrators and I believe the DF stands for Devil Fashion, hence why she is a succubus. She is listed as a 1-7 but she's effectively a 1-6. She is gigantic and next to my other Saitom figures which are by Skytube, she is up to par in terms of size. Her jacket and her top are full of great details with all of the wrinkles and creases as well as some of these zipper straps on the side which are green which adds a nice pop of color in my opinion. This figure is on more of the looter side in my collection seeing that you can see some uh, nipplage and while she is on the saucy side, her face gives off more of a sweet, innocent look. She is a succubus, so the horns on her head are painted this beautiful metallic red color, as well as her long tail, which kind of looks like blood is dripping from it. Her hair is also sculpted really well. I also love the way they shaded her hair. The main color being pink and the tips of her hair being this lavender color, as well as the white highlights to add some dimension. And she's also my first succubus girl, so I had to add her in my top 7. Alright, next up on my list is Korone by Spirit Tail. I believe she's also a 1-7, but she is also effectively a 1-6. Her jacket looks super cute with all of the bows and the colourful yellow. I think it's really cute that there's a hole at the back of her jacket for her tail. I know some people were iffy about the transparent hair, but I think it's done really well. It looks really soft and cute, which kind of matches the aesthetic of the entire figure. Her eye decals are actually really beautiful, and I love that they painted her nails yellow and they didn't skimp out on that. Highlight of this figure for me would have to be her base with all of the bread, which goes in hand with the Corone lore, as well as the paw base, which is really cute, and it has the Yubi Yubi catchphrase she always says. If you're a huge Corona fan, this is the figure to get. It is so hot today, why did I pick today to film? Next up we have the first quarter scale on this list. This is Vanilla by Binding and this is her bunny suit version. And she's on this list because out of chocolate and vanilla, I do prefer vanilla a little more. I just think her stoic expressions can be really cute in figure form. And I'm also a fan of characters with silver or white hair. One of the reasons why I picked Vanilla over the chocolate counterpart is her pose. I kind of think it looks like she's trying to pose pretty and she's like, oh, like this. Both of them do have the dark blue vest, but I just think Vanilla's light blue accents really complement the dark blue a lot better. The hair sculpt is pretty detailed for a quarter scale and the long flowiness with the curl tips is just really adorable as well. Her fingernails are painted this beautiful blue color which I think is a nice added detail as well as the bell on her collar and the little vanilla name tag. I also like that she has white tights instead of the traditional black. I think it really complements the blue color scheme overall. Number four on my list, we have Abante by Good Smile Shanghai. I believe she's from a Chinese mobile game called Red Pride of Eden. And I do also display her in my detail without the base just because it does take up a lot of space. But I do think the base is really cute with all of the... plushies and additional accessories like her laptop and the snacks. 
Her hair being one of the highlights for me with all of the cute accessories of stars and hearts in her hair. The shade of pink is really pretty as well as her flowy hair sculpt. I know some people have mixed opinions on Good Smile Shanghai. This is my only figure from that company um, and I think they're great. I think she's executed really well. She is so cute that I also got her Nendoroid as well. Coconut is the next figure on my list. I'm actually so scared I'm going to drop her. Now, I know she has a lot of QC issues and um, people think she's a hit or a miss, but I added her to this list because Coconut's actually my favorite Necropar girl and I love the illustration it's based on. I don't remember what company she's from, so I'm just going to put that on screen. Although some aspects of the figure could be refined a little more, I do think overall she's a really cute figure. The big standout of this figure would have to be her base with all of the huge pastel hearts which are shaded beautifully. It's just a really unique concept and I don't have any other figure like this in my collection. I think her flowy hair and her fluffy tail adds a lot of dynamic movement to this figure as well as her pose. I do display her without the jeans just because um, they're a little ugly. <laughs> and yeah, just an overall cute figure. I also think um, she's one of the figures in my collection that manages to be cute and sexy at the same time. I will say though, I do think her skin is a little too orange. The second last figure on my list that I wanted to show off is the Chikato Chi Chika Fujiwara figure. I believe she's done by Wave or Dream Tech, and in my opinion, this is the best Chica that is out there based on quality, based on accuracy, and just based on iconicness. I mean, like, the figure is based off of the iconic Chica dance. Although she's just a schoolgirl, with her pose and the skirt flowing, she manages to be more of a dynamic figure. I love that the ends of her hair can get a little transparent, which I think is really pretty. This is kind of a weird detail, but I do love that her eyes are shiny, depending on where you're looking at. Her hat is also magnetic, which is a great feature, and she also does come with her bow if you just want to display her with the bow and without the hat. And although I do like the velvet base, it can get really dusty and dirty and difficult to clean, but besides that, I do love her a lot. And the final figure I wanted to show up is Eduru by Freeing. She's also a quarter scale and this figure is based off of an illustration by the iconic V-Smile. I have a huge thing for blonde anime girls and she is exactly that with the bonus of beautiful pink hair tips. I just think her hair mostly being down with the side pigtails is really adorable. I also love bunny girls and I love maids and the fact that she's both of them is perfect for me. Her face manages to give off a delicate soft expression which I think is really cute. This is kind of a cast off figure where you can remove the skirt but I choose to leave it on just because I think it's a lot cuter with all of the details of the maid apron and the frills. I love that her garters, or more so her fishnets, are like bigger, if that makes sense. All of the holes are a lot bigger than the, what typically Freeing does. And the black bows behind her heels are really cute as well. And yeah, I really love her. She's currently my favorite bunny in my collection, although there is a bunny coming soon that will potentially take her spot. Not potentially, for sure. For sure. And there we go. That is my top seven favorite figures in my collection. Let me know if you have any of these figures in your collection and if you think these figures deserve the top spot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a sneak preview of some of the figures that I have in my collection. I will be doing a room tour soon, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.